So I've gotten a lot of questions about what is an owner's locker, how does it work, what do you put in it, and just loads of questions. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering all of those that I absolutely can. So if that is something that you've been curious about is what is that purple box in all of your videos, then you're going to want to stick around. If you are new to this channel and trying to figure out more about an owner's locker, hi, my name is Ashley, and on this channel, I share tips, tricks, and hacks for taking toddlers to Disney, Disney vacation planning tips, travel tips, as well as vlogs from our adventures along the way. So if that is content that you're into, you'll want to click the red subscribe button and the thumbs up button and let's jump into this big purple box. So these purple boxes have been in the background of quite a few of my room tours and vlogs from here at Disney World. And so I wanted to share a little bit more about what it is and answer a few frequently asked questions first. So we'll jump into what in the world I store in there and some of the ideas. People store a wide variety of things in these owner's lockers, but I'll be sharing what I keep in mind. But I did want to kind of go over kind of what even is an owner's locker. So if you're someone that frequents Florida, Orlando area or Disney, then this could definitely be a good fit for you. And and I will have a link to their website down below. It's not an affiliate. I don't make a commission or anything. Just sharing this because I genuinely enjoy it. And I'm not about gatekeeping. So I'm letting you know about what I enjoy. So really like the owner's locker. So they have a membership plan. So you can pay it either annually or monthly. And they have three different levels. They have a value, a moderate, and a deluxe plan. Kind of like the Disney resorts. So depending on how frequently you visit the Orlando area, we'll kind of dictate which one of those plans you'll fall into and which category you'll want to choose. For us, we come pretty frequently, as you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel. And so we go with the deluxe plan. It is for the owner's locker itself is unlimited trips of them bringing the owner's locker to and from your resort. So that best fit us. They do have ch cheaper plans that are less per month or less annually, but then you do have to pay for them to bring the owner's locker to you and take it back. So depending on how frequently you come, do a little math and see which one is going to best fit you and your budget and your needs for this owner's locker. It's not for everyone as I mentioned this in the end of the video, but it's definitely not for everyone. For the longest time, it really wasn't for us either. And with some other travel that we have going on, it may not be for us in the future. I may end up canceling our owner's locker and then getting it back. I don't know. We'll see how that happens. But I did want to share about it for those of you that really enjoy it. And I know I've gotten a lot of questions, so wanted to answer that. The owner's lockers themselves are, are actually stored in a storage facility. So it is heated, cooled and everything. So they're good and safe. And so you don't have to worry about them like getting damaged. And it was great because even after the recent hurricane came through Orlando, they even emailed me and said, hey, we did a check of the facility. Your boxes are all good. They are safe and ready for whenever you are coming to the Orlando area once again, no damage. So that was nice to know that they kind of checked the facility, we got updated and everything. And then they also, once you send it back, so say on checkout day, once they pick it up and they have it back in their facility, you'll also get an email saying, hey, it's back in our facility. We're back in charge of it and it's good to go. Your, it's, your things are stored away, so that's exciting. And it's really easy to use their website. You can log on and be able to set up when you're going to be coming and which resort you're staying at. They have Disney Disney resorts as well as non-Disney resorts. So lots of options for when you were coming to the Orlando area. It's not just for on Disney property, although a lot of like Disney vacation club members and just people who frequent Disney in general really enjoy this, but you don't have to be like a DVC member to take advantage of this. This can go anywhere. We have had it brought to value resorts, moderate resorts, and even outside resorts. And so it's really, really nice to have that option and one less thing to be lugging through the airport. And as far as pickup and delivery, so when the owner's locker is delivered to your hotel or resort It is actually delivered to bell services and so all you have to do is once you get into your room you can call down to bell services and they will deliver it to your hotel room for you or you can actually go up to bell services and get it from there as well and then when you leave you kind of do the same similar thing on the box there is a little like window card that you have to flip around and say it says i'm checking out and that way it know they can kind of dictate okay that one's going back to owner's locker that's ready to be picked up and then they will take care of it appropriately basically and so when you're ready to go all you would have to do is kind of reverse that process and call bell services and have them to pick it up and take it down there or you can take it back to bell services yourself so just however is easiest for you and your family we've done both and they are both really really simple and so i appreciate this service so so much for us we started out with one owner's locker but then we have since moved to two owner's lockers i think i may end up kind of scaling back and going back to one but you can add 
add as many as you want. And the more owner's lockers that you add, you do get a discount for those second and third and whatnot owner's lockers. So I know people that they have like three or four of them and they don't pack for Disney World. They just like hop on a plane and they go and everything that they need there, they leave there and then they own or, or they order groceries, things like that. And so they don't have to even pack a suitcase. So depending on how you like to travel, it definitely adds a little bit of flexibility and some fun to being able to kind of have your things there, especially if you have things that you only use at Disney. And so you know what those things are, like you would kind of have an idea. Some people even leave their wardrobe. So I could get into a lot of things, but let's move on to actually what I store in my owner's locker and just a few ideas from there. And then for security purposes of what you have in your owner's locker, um, one end of the tote will kind of latch down. It has basically a locking system on it. And then it's hard to explain, but it, it does like kind of secure down. And then on this other end, you just add in these zip ties. And then the one there on the left is actually numbered. So you can take a photo of it or you can write it down. And that way you can know exactly which one. And that way, if it were to be tampered with, you would know that. Um, so that's one way. But now on to what I keep in the locker. <laughs> All right, so I currently actually have two of these owner's lockers, and so I've got a bit of stuff in here. I have two toddler girls that we travel with quite a bit. I'm going to be downsizing though, but I did wanna just start going through this and showing you kind of some of the things that I keep in here and just some ideas of what you can use an owner's locker for and how it can even streamline your packing process, as well as helping you not have to pack as much, especially if you frequent Disney multiple times a year. This could definitely be a good option for you, especially compared to cost of adding extra bags and checked luggage and all of those options. So let's jump into what I have in box number one. So for this one, I actually left some of my ears from my last trip. I wasn't going to need these at home. And so they just lived right here in Florida. Um, so this is something that I would typically take home, like if I needed to do like other trips or something. But on my last one, I decided to leave these here and that worked out really well. Next up is my toddler's inflatable bed. This is what she sleeps in at Disney World. It is down low to the ground, super easy to set up and she really, really likes it. And it also gives us a little bit more space in the room. So like you'll see, I'm gonna set up this room and I'll have that video linked down below if you wanna see it. But it also doesn't take up as much space as folding down a full size bed for a three year old, four year old. And so this works really, really well. Love this as an option. Plus I can use this bed, or I can't use like a standard bed like this. I can use that bed with my slumber pot, which is really, really nice. We are a huge fan of slumber pods. My girls are used to having their own little dark space at home to sleep in. And so this gives them that when we are traveling on vacation and we're one big happy family in one little tiny room. And so that is one of the things I love about slumber pot. I will put a link to it as well as I, my discount code if it's still active in the description box for you guys. These things, they're so worth the investment. Do yourself a favor if you've been on the fence just go ahead and buy one it will last you from babyhood to toddlerhood and it is just perfect i love that i can set it up in the room and be able to put the girls to bed at night or put them down for a nap in the middle of the day and my husband and i don't have to just shut everything down and just be necessarily whisper quiet and turn all the lights off and just like sit there in the bed and like not do anything because if our toddler sees us they're gonna be like wait you're awake i don't want to go to bed so mini ramble about a slumber pot but they're amazing, so wanted to share. And then last time I had leftover diapers. So I put my leftover diapers for my grocery order in here and this time I didn't have to buy any because I already have them in this bag. Let's see, we have our other slumber pod in here. So I have one for each of my girls, one for my one and a half year old, one for my um, three and a half year old. We have our stroller blankets, which it's like 80 something degrees outside. I don't think I'm gonna need these right now, but in February when we were here, we needed them. And in December before that, we definitely needed them as well. So they, these are our like Disney stroller blankets. I have leftover pull-ups in there as well and leftover wipes, which is really good. So we are set to go. I have two other packed wipes, so three total. So we are set for this trip. Um, this is a pillow for the inflatable bed. I keep this little, whew, that was way more forceful than I thought, but I keep this laundry hamper. It collapses right down and it's great for taking and throwing your clothes in here. It's a sorter and you can like take them to the laundry and wash them so you can go home with clean clothes, which is really, really nice. Um, if you enjoy that, I love unpacking clean clothes. It's just so satisfying. And um, so that will be used here in the room. 
little makeup sponges, things I use for taking my makeup off at night, especially my eye makeup. I have, these actually broke on our last trip, so I had to get a replacement, but it's our baby monitor. I keep usually our baby monitor in these as well. With using the slumber pods, it's really nice to be able to peek in on the girls without actually having to peek in on the girls. Um, and this kind of really helps with that. So love having our baby monitor, or if you are staying in a villa and you want to go out on your balcony and you don't want to have to worry about it, or even here where it all star movies today, I could step out right in front of my door and just sit there and enjoy my location, enjoy the weather, just have a snack and just sit there right in front of the window and be able to watch the girls on the monitor and be very close in proximity to them. They're not in danger, but it gives me a chance to just, because if my kids is a lot, they're in the bathtub. So that's what you can hear in the background but i also have my stroller caddy in here so left that as well as a stroller hook so all-time favorites so those were in there and then the boxes do they do come with these little organizers so you can put these together and kind of grid the bottom basically and so it really helps to be able to like organize little things if you want to, to keep like Tylenol or bubble bottles or whatever you have all of that in there and it comes with this I would call it a tackle box maybe it's because I'm from the south but it looks like a tackle box it has one of these little dividers in it but this is great for again little things um little i don't know knickknacky what i don't know i don't use this personally but it's something that you could use um so yeah that comes with it for free and it is a rather large box so i i can get quite a bit of stuff in here as you saw um which is really really nice and all of that would have had to go in a suitcase um which before we had an owner's locker, we just checked a suitcase and it was what it was. We usually fly Southwest, but there were times that other airlines that don't give you free bags was cheaper. And so it ended up, once we did the math, it was a little less to do the owner's locker and not have to pack all that stuff than had to pay, have to pay baggage fees. So that was just kind of one of the differences for us. Let me grab this other one and we'll start going through it. This one looks more like a junk drawer than a, an owner's locker, but you know, it has a lot of purposes, so that's what we're using it for. I have this large Ziploc bag here at the top that has all of our toiletries in there. I just pop those in and we are ready for the very next trip. So I'll be able to take those in the bathroom and set those up. I keep the girls' bubble wands in here. I do take them off, so if you're going to put your bubbles in here. They come with a screw on cap. Just make sure you hold on to those and then you can keep them when you're ready to like pack that up so it's not spilling bubbles all over everything. I have our handy dandy stroller fans. These are misting fans so when I store them I will pop this little tab into the like guard I guess the cage of the fan and that way it does have a little bit of airflow so it's less likely to just like grow things in there. So I did have those, got one for each of the kids because you know, two kids, two fans. And then I have a swim diaper for my younger daughter, more leftover diapers in here. Um, that's what's all under there. More leftover pull-ups from a different trip. I keep these are great for lines. They are little pop purses and I'll keep little like figurines. I get these like at the checkout counter at Walmart or whatever. You can find them on Amazon. I think this little guy was a toy from McDonald's. So just random little things that we will put in here. Um, this is the star from one of their like glow sticks from the dollar store. It's just little things that keep them entertained. And then this I have is two adult ponchos. We needed them on one trip. So I just was able to like pack them back up and have those there. And then I keep an infant's pain and fever reliever. This works for both of my girls and I really like this particular one, but it works well having something here so I don't have to worry about it. So I have that. I have leftover bubbles to refill their bubble wands. I have a shopping bag, another tiny little Elsa. Our little name tag for our stroller. Let's see, what is this? This is a crib sheet. I will use this on um, Bella's crib sheet if we needed an extra one. So I have that in there. Another one of the stroller hooks, some more stroller lights. <laughs> And then our little box of bubbles, a couple packs of wipes, our cooling towels, those, it is hot outside. I can tell we're gonna need those this time. Our sound machine is in here as well. 
and then all kinds of little like activity packs and glow sticks for fun in the park. So was able to leave those after our last trip. Another cooling towel here, diapers. And then these are our handheld misting fans, which are great for my husband and I. We'll definitely be filling these up before we go to the parks because gonna need it, it's hot. And then more glow sticks here, a bottle brush, some leftover liquid IV, which I love those, drink at least, at least one a day when I'm at Disney. And then I have my umbrella. I have this little thing. I actually got this here at Disney World, but you can put the lid to your soda bottle on it and hang it off of anything you need to hang it off of. Um, and it's really cool. They had this hanging inside of one of the um, refrigerators where you like grab a bottled soda out of. So if you're wanting to grab one of these, look in those areas. Have some extra batteries for the bubble ones, some coloring placemats. I just ordered those and had them delivered here to our resort. Have some leftover laundry detergent from when we stayed in a villa. Our monitor that is now broken the girl's hairbrush, and then this is a drying scrunchie. If you have long hair, you're gonna enjoy this because it dries my hair so much faster than wrapping it up in a towel and it actually stays because it's a scrunchie. So I really, really like that a ton. Let's see, I have some cold medicine in here because you just never know. But I, anything that's liquid like this, I try to keep it in a bag. Like I have the bubbles in a bag, this in a bag. Um, it just makes it a little bit simpler. And then Pedialyte for my girls. And so that is what's in that bag. But I hope that gives you guys some ideas of like what you could have in your owner's locker, what you can leave here, and it's just kind of the benefits and convenience of having it. Some For some families, it may be more of a, you're spending it for the convenience of it being here. And then for some people, it may actually save you money um, depending on how you fly and how you pack and luggage situation and everything. So definitely check, check out the pricing and just run some numbers and see which one is gonna be best for your family. And owner's locker, I will say, is not for everybody. There was a very long time where it wasn't for us either. And there may come a point where we don't use our owner's locker and we we go back to just packing the old-fashioned way and we do two checked bags and we pack all of our clothes in one and all of our resort stuff and extra room in the other suitcase and it just may look better for us to work that way and pack that way so it definitely depends but worth checking out but wanted to share that for you guys